So the other day it occurred to me that Dump Trump sounds something like Humpty Hump. Uh, I'll do the Humpty Hump. And I thought I'd combine them. But then I suddenly realized, holy cow, the inauguration is coming up. What if I went down to the inauguration and got people to sing along? But then they thought, you know, I don't want to impose my will onto the news, in essence, because I'm not the news media. I want to see what really happens. What if I just get people out there reacting as they do to life and musicify them? I still wanted to start with something, so I instead took Dumpty Dump and put it with Trump himself saying what he's perhaps most famous for saying other than make America great again. Grab him by the pussy, grab him by the pussy, grab him. And with this running through the back of my head, I went down to the inauguration to find out what would happen. Grab music. Grab pussy, 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 grab by the pussy, grab by the pussy, grab 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 by the pussy, pussy, grab pussy, grab 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 pussy, grab pussy. I want to thank the DC Cannabis Co-op Club, DC Canna, GCMJ for rolling. Over when I was there, I couldn't help but pause and look at this girl. I like beautiful girls who are kind. Actually, I find kind girls beautiful. She's maybe not the most beautiful girl in the world, but she's so kind. Oh yes, she's kind giving away marijuana. But it doesn't, but it doesn't change the fact that she's kind. I just watched her for a while. That's what I do. I like beauty. Kindness and beauty going together are beautiful. You know, often a pretty girl can have a big head and not be very pretty, to my eyes, just because she isn't pretty inside. But look, have a marijuana cigarette, have a joint, have a joint. How kind and beautiful. Grab by the pussy, grab by the pussy, grab, grab, grab by the pussy, pussy, grab, pussy, grab, grab, grab. My first stop was this marijuana protest. They weren't protesting against marijuana, they were protesting against laws stopping marijuana from being what God made it, a plant. It's actually illegal for a plant to grow. It's, not, it's like making it illegal for weeds to grow in your garden. What if the government said, you know, it's illegal for the rain to come. We don't like cloudy days. It's a plant. But that's not the point. The point is America is supposed to be a free country. And you shouldn't protest against one unfair law, you should protest for anything that infringes on your rights to do whatever you want, whenever you want, however you want. Because that's what being an American means. You can do whatever you want, whenever you want, however you want. Yes, I told that to my teacher when I was eight years old. Yes, I was physically hit. Shouldn't she be in jail now? Actually, he was a he teacher. I think he should be in prison. Anyway, okay, see, that's the point. You have freedom until you're belt, my belt in that case, actually, strike someone else, then you, that's where your freedom stops. Your freedom doesn't stop anywhere. You can grow anything, put anything into your head, into your body you want. It's supposed to be a free country. Anyway. Dump the Trump. Dump the Trump. Also worked at Obama inauguration. Uh, that's what I said. <laughs> so I decided to walk downtown, even though the subway didn't seem full at all, despite the warnings that would be filled with people. But I found out I couldn't get in to see the inauguration without a special pass. No one told me I needed a pass. I thought this was a free country. I tried one spot, then another, then another, and I finally found a spot. Where I could get in. Do the dump to Trump. Come on, do the dump to Trump. Oh, hi, how are you? I'm fine, because I know that K's are. I did not say these nuts. I did not say these nuts. Lady say sausages. I said Jesus. Son of man, son of the Virgin Mary, son of God. Is trying to tell you something. God is trying to tell you something.
what stunned me was that it was desolate. It felt... Have you ever heard of this musical called The Music Man? I've never seen it. There was a Simpsons episode about it once. Basically, a con man comes to town <laughs> with music. And, and I, I don't remember how it ends, even in The Simpsons, but I just imagine the next day, after everyone realizes he's been conned, they kind of all don't want to admit it to themselves. And yet they're not exactly joyous, are they? And that was the sense I, I got of these people. I've never seen more people in a crowd who were clearly by themselves. And again, crowd is a bit of an overstatement. Look at all those urinals. Look at how few people there are in front of them. It's like three urinals a person. Three urinals a person. Sounds like having to someone with bladder disease. Not that I have bladder disease, I'm just being empathetic. It's one of my greatest qualities, empathy. At least I've been told. And I tried to think, who did I prefer? He was a clear Trump supporter. If his flag cape didn't show you, he wasn't shy to tell you. Next to him was a Trump opposer. Now I have to admit, I found the Trump guy a little cooler. I mean, I, obviously he was like a country-ish, truck driving-ish, horse riding-ish. Yahoo! I mean, I don't know. He was clearly like, eh, you know, like, you know, he clearly had a pickup truck. And that's cool, you know, I, I, it's not my thing, but hey, yo, what could be more American than that? This guy looked more like he hung around the boys' locker room at a junior high school. I mean, you got to admit, at one point, the idea occurred to me, are those birds? Are those the angels leaving Washington? And I don't mean that in a bad way against Trump, really. But having said that, I saw all these Trump supporters, and there wasn't one that I would be comfortable having a conversation with. So I kind of left during Trump's speech and ran into someone I had a great deal in common with, it seemed. At least I could have a conversation with. That's right, Satanists. Fuck you, Trump. So maybe it's me. Maybe if I were God-fearing, I'd love Trump. Actually, these guys were atheist Satanists. Don't ask me. L let them explain it. We're atheists? Right, but the, like but the ones Satanists. I've read about, the ones with the statues. That's the Satanic yeah. Temple. We are affiliated with them. We are allies of theirs. But are you actual Satanists? We yes. are, but we're okay. atheists. How is that possible? Well, Satan and God aren't real. They're characters in a story. So then they, how can you be a Satanist? Um, they, we use Satan as a metaphor for a common construct to rally around. You ever been to like a sci-fi convention? Not yet. Well, people go to those all the time because they're really moved by the characters in those stories. Um, we're really moved by the character of Lucifer and Satan and all of his aspects. So what does what moves you about Lucifer? He brought knowledge and light in the story. And in the story, God wanted to oppress man and keep, keep man and woman stupid and, and his and that's P.S. what a crappy story and uh, a lot of people are basing their morality off of something that's make-believe my morality comes from what I know and the truth and knowledge and logic and reason and science and medicine not from a magical sky god is, is morality related to science that's a good question Gosh. <laughs> Call me dad. Hi, dad. Hey, it was interesting. I believe that there's magic in the world, and I believe that at some point in the future, we'll understand more about consciousness, time, and space, so that all these things that seem like miracles to me are not going to be dismissed as mere coincidences that I apply my own pattern to, but they will be seen as the genuine miracles they are. That's my belief. I could be wrong. Grab them by the person. Grab them by the person. Grab them. Don't the drum feel the funk? Looks like a wall and smells like a skunk. I look funny, yo. But yo, I'm making money, see? So yo, world, I hope you're ready for me. I look ready. I'd rather be petty. I got around. I'm the new fool in town. Fool in town. Yo, I'm making money. Yo, I'm making money. Money, 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 money. Had the best words. Had the best words. Had the best words. Had the best words. Had the best
Join at sharemusic.com. If you subscribe on YouTube, make sure you don't just subscribe, but hit the bell, like the, the bell. There's a kind of a bell notification button. If you don't push that, it's useless to subscribe. Go to sharemusic.com. There's going to be an app someday. I'm going around the world, taking one song around the world, getting amazing people, great musicians, normal people on the street to contribute, learning about the world and different cultures and different people and different ways of looking at the world and music and everything. It's a great adventure. There's going to be an app someday. I'm going to have Instagram and all that kind of stuff. And there's a Share Music Virtual Reality Project. There's a separate PopMusic.com project, PopMusic.com, which is a way to make pop music better. Pop music is a good thing. It can make you happy when you're in a bad mood. You can listen to it when you drive. It's cool. It's just going to be a way to make pop music better. Join it all, please. Peace out. Love in. Thumbs up. Rock out. Oh, yeah, do all the thumbs up and all this social sharing stuff, Facebook. Do whatever. Do all the social stuff, you know, help spread the word. Support it. I'll have a Patreon account. You can subscribe, you can support, you can just give money. Oh, sorry, sharemusic.com for all that stuff. If you forget ever how to find this YouTube channel, subscribe and you won't. If you go sharemusic.com slash YouTube, not youtube.com slash, it doesn't work that way. Sharemusic.com, just go to sharemusic.com. If you forget sharemusic.com, how can you forget that? I'm going to have Musicify one day, but it's really complicated. Musica with a K and then dot F, I forget that. And there's pop music. How can you forget popmusic.com? But for this particular episode, which is only episode number two, sharemusic.com slash two. You'll find out about downloads and stuff like that. And, you know, I'm not sure, but make sure you, like, join everything you can possibly do. Spread as much as you can do. Your support matters. I think if you like this video, if you see it on YouTube, or if you make a comment, it's all helpful to this idea, which I really hope you guys will help me with. Rock out. Peace. Love. Happiness. Wait, that's not right. Peace. Love. Boys shouldn't do that. It's very unmanly. Stop it. Share music. Pop music. Music of all. Bye bye. Do you know anyone who knows reindeer? I, I got this for Christmas and now I need a, a, a place to use it. I'd like to go to Lapland if you are a musician or know a musician, a cool traditional musician, some combination of traditional and modern, or just somebody who loves music, a music school, anything musical, I'd love to come to Lapland and continue this project there. I don't know why. Well, I have the hat, that's basically why. Um, and also because it just, I'd love it. I've been to Siberia, but that's, you know, a bit Siberian. Um, so if you, and I want to see Santa Claus. So if you know anyone or anyone um, who can get involved in it anyway, if you're a cameraman, anything like that, please get in touch. Go to sharemusic.com slash two. I'll make it like that. Sorry, is that backwards? Sorry, um, share, well, yeah, I'll just do it electronically. Sharemusic.com slash two. Lapland. If you're listening to this a long time after the fact, sorry, but thank you. Just share music, man.